Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. To find ways to make excuses and BS around and or outright refuse to draw. And I really hesitate on saying draw because it's not that hard to pick a fucking color. But if you're going to do all that and then refuse to draw darker skin tones or shade darker skin tones or color darker skin tones, do our hairs, do anything and everything under the sun, if you're just going to refuse to do any of that, just go ahead and pack it up as an artist. Because doing something as easy as uh pulling up a hold on because i'm gonna show you how easy this is if you can't pull up a color wheel and pick something or use a hex code and pick something what's wrong with you go ahead and pack it up for me right quick you know if if you as an artist are given a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a piece exactly to the commissioner's request and it's literally like one through ten and each point has sub points so you got one a one b two c two a two b two c etc 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 and you as the artist decide to skip two through six and then skip every single sub point don't be surprised when you get called out on it and it's like yo this isn't what i asked for because there was a tweet that went around the other day one of those really incessant and annoying uh what what's your kind of opinion that i have everybody ready to fight whatever and it was related to artists and someone decided to take the angle of uh drawing poc people of color is quote hard and people need to stop dogpiling artists for refusing to do so and uh, something else because that I believe that tweet was deleted because I did go looking for it a little bit couldn't couldn't find the original tweet and stuff like that and give me one moment okay hopefully that's the last interruption for a while but as I was saying they make any and all excuse to just not do it and then want to look confused when they get caught out for because it's not hard at all or for a lot of for a lot of things and art pieces that i see commissioned for both in person and online because i'm really gonna touch on that later there is zero issue why you cannot just go down the line go down the road and then just Oh, this is the exact thing they're asking for. I'll do that. All right. Is it avatar? Dust is a dark skin tone one. So my avatar specifically is literally reflective of my actual skin tone. Right. That's that. That's what I have. Um, my avatar as my V two model as it is literally a one-to-one -one reflection of my actual skin tone and when they and when i and i'm gonna harp on the online people for just a moment when they say hard in my experience from what i've seen people say and the excuses that they make their definition of hard is they don't want to do it wrong so to say 
or they think that making a skin tone a few shades darker or drawing a very specific type of hairstyle which is not hard to draw at all is uh asking for too much and that they're not skilled enough to be able to do that that's what a lot of online artists mean when they say shit is hard right and it's also in relation to like you know keep keeping it in the sphere of vtubing for just this particular example even when you have direct references and like i said a step-by-step -step thing and plenty of tutorials out there plenty of you know workshops out there to show exactly what someone is asking for and they still complain about oh it's too hard i'm not skilled enough to do this when you have a guide right there in front of you i don't understand how it's hard when you have the cheat code right in front of you in fear of compass see that's the thing it's not so much a fear of coming off as stereotypical and or racist it's just that instead of doing what's asked of them they make up excuses as to why they can't do it and that's the part that gets them in trouble because if it was like a like a genuine blunder like oh they i don't know they didn't orient a finger right or this perspective might be a little bit off or they forgot a detail in drawing it something like that that's no issue but when it's something as clear and obvious as skin tone and or hair that's where the problem is because because and, I, and i'm really gonna stress on this it's not hard to go to the color wheel or a hex uh selector or something and click on this get whatever shade of brown that they're asking for and do that right it's not hard it it <laughs> some people have done it so egregious and so crazy to where if you give someone something red and you say hey i want this to be drawn in crimson red and they give you a midnight blue that's what happens just you know replace the hey i want this art piece that i'm commissioning you for to be caramel colored right or 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 tan or or coffee black or something and you get snow white cloudy white paper white kind of thing like like the highest level of whitewashing and then they're like okay here you go and you're like this is not what i asked for kind of thing i wonder if they're terrified of twitter piling up on them see that's the thing right i do acknowledge the side that twitter people play in it when they whip out the bad excuses because again right you give someone exactly what you want and they don't do that and they make excuses for that that's the problem that's what the problem comes in at if it's like oh hey i drew this character yada 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 and you know fumbled something here and there at that point it's like uh okay let, let, let's reevaluate what went wrong and then fix it right but i'm specifically talking about the people who make a thousand and one excuses to not do what's asked of them and then want to play victim over it right now the reason that i'm going to be spending so much time talking about this so heavy is because like i said earlier someone decided to play the angle of oh it's hard i don't want to do it you only stop dogpiling people for it blah 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 blah. i'm not skilled enough blah 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 blah, blah. and this does not happen with any other type of art in 
like the VTubing space, right? Because people can draw and 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 hear me out with this, right? People can draw mechs, people can draw monsters, people can draw furries, people can draw scenery, people can draw non-human entities and get every single aspect of it right. But yet, someone like me or another VTuber that happens to be a person of color asks for something and it's like, hey, you know, I have these features, here's a list, here's a reference sheet, just don't whitewash me, right? And somehow, some kind of way, it's impossible for said artist to get it right, which, which, which confuses me to all ends of the earth and back, which then brings to the conversation, okay, why didn't you do it right? Do you have a problem or are you just racist? Because, you know, there's no hiding or refuting the fact that not just in the art world, not just in the music world, in all facets of life, people are usually conditioned to see something white or colorless as better, right? That, that's just how it has always been and people that benefit from it do everything in their power to not see the other side and figure it out figure figure out what they're doing wrong the part that they play in it and all this that and the third which is crazy to me because again, it does not make any sense. I will never understand the people who make excuses as to why they can't do something when they have the answer right in front of them, okay? But to switch gears and move on for the next topic. So there is a VTuber, uh, Yuitani, super cool, all right good entertainer, good guy, good person, they're cool, they always make um, posts and always do their part in talking about, <clears throat> you know, uplifting uh, POC voices, POC people, POC content creators, etc, etc, so they're not just focusing on one particular group, it's everybody gets their praise, gets their shout outs, etc, 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 right? So, that tweet was made, and then this one drama hounding clown ass in a series of words that I can't necessarily say on Twitch or YouTube, but this cretin who consistently winds up getting their shit uh, suspended on Twitter and whatever, they hopped onto it and it was like blah 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 blah. Essentially, essentially, what their tweet boiled down to was y'all are too sensitive y'all need to shut the fuck up and y'all need to stop dogpiling on them and this person has a habit and i really do mean a raw ass real ass habit of using the phrase poc when they are directly talking about black people because more often than not it is Black folk, black entertainers, black content creators that get whitewashed to hell and back. And I quite literally mean someone, someone could have, you know, their, their, their model or whatever be the actual color of chocolate, right? We all, we all know what chocolate looks like. Okay. Hershey's chocolate, Reese's chocolate, whatever. We know what the color of chocolate is, right? People will commission someone because they like their art style, because they like their portfolio, because they like what they do. And it's like, hey, I want to commission you to draw this. Here's all the info that you need. They get their piece back white as hell. White as shit. And it's like, what the fuck is that? Right? But anyway, that usually happens to us. 
And every time it does happen, it's like, yo, what the fuck? Why did you do this? This is not what I asked for. They 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 can get every other detail right, assuming and, and, and especially the hair part, assuming that the hair is like straight or quote unquote not complex or complicated. Whatever the fuck. They'll get every other fucking detail right, except the hair and or skin, but mostly the skin, right? That's the fucking crazy part to me, bro. That's the part that I don't understand. That's the part I will never, never, ever, ever understand. You can get everything right but the skin? You can get everything right but the hair? What? How? Explain that to me. To be frank, every artist has the right to choose their preferences. POC art is a weird hit to die on, but don't pick up the mission. Exactly, right? If, if, if you as an artist don't feel that you're equipped enough for whatever reason to draw this POC art, then don't accept the commission. Turn it down. Give them their money back. But a lot of artists just choose that and that hill alone to die on and that never makes fucking sense to me but anyway get, getting back to the main thing getting back to the main thing this cretin ass vtuber decided to you know do what they always do and not just go after poc people but also specifically go after black folk because for whatever unholy reason due to due to an event that not an event an incident that happened last year that shouldn't have happened in the first fucking place their angle is like oh this one specific vtubing uh, community discord server group whatever always launches targeted harassment campaigns to go after people that they don't like right which is objectively and un and, and 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 unequivocally false right the group in question is the melanin mafia i'm a part of that i'm a founding member of the vtuber group wave one side of the melanin mafia right that shit does not happen Every single thing that this motherfucker has accused, not just this group, but other black VTubers and content creators of doing, does not happen. And that opened the floodgates, not primarily, but let's say enabled more people to start slinging out the racism like crazy, saying, everything they can on the sun like crazy and then being like oh well another surge of nobody fucks with them anyway like crazy talking about oh vtube should have never expanded outside the west be outside the east because of a problem like this like crazy bro and then and then like clockwork you have the people who genuinely want to do their part in informing people and educating people to prevent them from being ignorant from being bigoted from doing this doing that all these negative things right but then you have people like this motherfucker who swears to high heaven and back that they are not racist that they are not prejudiced that they do not have a grudge that they are not on some fucking oh well you know this and this and that type tip right they'll do that to to to, to the high heavens and back but yet at the same damn time right they'll do the whole uh getting caught up in semantics getting caught up in the words twisting your words using that against you and the moment, the slightest nanosecond, not even nanosecond, a picosecond of you showing just a slight hinge of frustration, whether it be in your voice or in your text 
all of a sudden there's like, oh look, look, they're getting mad again. You're getting mad again. This is why we can't have conversations because you always get mad. You don't want to hear the other point. And it's like, bro, there is only so much bullshit that people are willing to deal with when it comes to issues that black people face both online and in person because this is the same kind of person that will sit up and go about well this is only an online thing and this doesn't happen in person and y'all get caught up over nothing and th this is the one accolade i will give them yeah you're right it doesn't happen in person to you because I can recall plenty a situation, and it's not just related with art, but I can recall plenty a situation where I myself have had to deal with thinly veiled racist bullshit in my fucking face, whether it be at a job, at a function, where I'm out in public. Either way, this shit happens constantly. But people that are not us, that are not black and that are not people of color don't have to deal with these fucking problems they don't so and that that is what gives them the gall to think that they have the right to say oh oh this doesn't happen you what are you so mad about it's just an online thing quit being so sensitive type shit right that that's what my problem is that and many other people's problem is that with this shit and then it went when when you have a conglomerate of black people black creators like individuals black people that, that just use the fucking internet right and they don't want to deal with the bullshit and they take measures to prevent them from being from having to deal with the bullshit then it, then e even with that it's a fucking problem because that that the, the the melon mafia that i mentioned earlier it is a group it is a community it is a discord server that is primarily centered and focused for black content creators black vtubers because and i said this in the last like um uh, video upload that I did where whenever the fucking racist shit comes out it's always aimed at us first it's always at our expense and when it comes to you know other uh, content creators and VTubers getting spotlights getting shouted out we're always the ones to like never ever 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 fucking mentioned we're always the ones like left behind and shit we're always the ones that are talked down on etc 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 and it got to the point where it was like, damn, we don't have a centralized community and a space for us. So it was made. It exists and it's thriving and it's alive and people like being there. Motherfuckers like this guy have a problem with that because they want to spin that as well. Oh, that's just as racist as other communities. Um, not including black people. You're you're excluding uh, other nationalities. They want to say white people. You're excluding other people. All for sake, you have your gate kept in black only space, and that's racist. And it's like, no, it's not. Because no one bats an eye when you have communities that are primarily, you know, white or 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 hispanic or what have you in places that don't predominantly feature black streamers black content creators and whatever right no one bats an eye at that shit but the moment someone makes something that primarily centers on that it's a problem for every well not necessarily everyone but people want to blow it up into a problem that becomes everyone's problem people want to take something that is specifically reserved for one group of people and being like oh well how come i someone that does not fit into the demographic how come i can't be involved in that how come 
why won't you let me participate in your space? Why won't you let me do this? Why won't you let me do that? And it's like, just the same way that you and yours exclude us and tell us not to be in our own shit and to make our own shit. Make your own shit. Because somehow when we make our own shit, like how we often get told to, it's a problem, right? There have been instances in the VTubing space where I've seen people be like, damn, why aren't there any black VTuber groups? Why aren't there any black VTuber agencies? Why aren't there any organizations and this and this and that? And it's like, you know, damn, we, 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 as long as we've been around, because now like we're just fucking out of nowhere, we kind of deserve a little bit of something, something, you know, it's not like watch out here twiddling our fucking thumbs waiting for something to happen. And then you get the responses and replies where it's like, okay, well, go make your own fucking thing. If you're going to sit up and complain about it because blah, 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 holla live, blah, 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 Nichi Sanji, blah, 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 whatever fucking bullshit corporate company. Um, they're not gonna accept you because they're not focused on that and then it's like oh, okay bet We will go make our own shit. Oh wait. No, no, no. You can't do that. N no, that's wrong That's racist you you you're excluding me and it's like bitch. You told me to do it in the first fucking place Pick your fucking poison and drink it. You can't have both Plain and simple But anyway this motherfucker going on about unnecessary racist shit and trying to yeah. fucking further thread the needle, spin the wheel, do this and do that, and is being well as inflammatory as they normally are, because this is the kind of motherfucker that constantly gets their Twitter accounts suspended because of some fuck shit that they do, because this is not the first time that they've gone after uh, POC issues and subject matters and spaces and being like, you're too sensitive and trying to thinly veil hate and harassment and bullshit like that. It's not the first time they've done it and it's not the second time that they've done it. This is like a thing that they do. And like I mentioned earlier, they're a fucking drama tuber, right? Or drama hound, whatever the fuck you want to use, right? Want to be Keemstar, don't really care. But, this is the kind of shit that people do, they say some fuckery, they say something that they think is right, and, w and when they get proven wrong, whether it be calm wrong or angry wrong, they're like, oh, well, you're sensitive, you're harassment, being caught up in semantics, twisting people's words, etc. That's what they fucking do. And it's not just them, but they're the primary perpetrator in this shit, right? They're, they're, they're known for that shit. And even in external physical spaces, right? This shit happens a lot. Like I said, I have plenty of in-person experiences where someone will try to pull a fast one on me, someone will try to pull some bullshit on me, etc., 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 and think that I won't uh, pick up on it or I won't call them out on that shit and it's like yo you ain't finna just pour that on me and then think you gonna get away with it right my most of my friends my in-person friends have also had to deal with similar experiences and 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 especially the in the, the instances and the situations where you know, they would do something, radio silence, fucking nothing, they get zero reply, or they even get turned down, and then, huh, more often than not, someone that is not black or a white person will do the exact same fucking thing, and all of a sudden, it's all sunshine and rainbows, shit's cool, it's this, it's that, they're getting all this fucking praise. But the original person that did the thing gets fucking nothing. That shit happens so much in person that it's goddamn diddly ridiculous. It's crazy. It happens so 
fucking much. And niggas don't want to take the time to acknowledge that shit. It's not just an online problem. This has been happening since time immem fucking memorial. Damn it. But it's always the people who spend way too much time online who complain about other people spending way too much time online when they talk about these issues in a, in, in a very serious manner to bring awareness to some shit so that it could maybe stop happening so frequently. And they're the ones like, oh, well, this isn't going to do anything. It's just words. You're too sensitive. Blah, 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 blah. And it's always the people because that want to use the term POC as a blanket statement when they quite literally, majority of the time, only mean black people. That's the part that aggravates not just me, not just me, but other people as well. And, 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 and this, 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 this is a problem that keeps going on and on and on. And it seemingly has, seemingly has no ending point, no light at the end of the tunnel. And then people want to take, I want to say people, I mean, the, uh, the perpetrators of this shit, people who do this all the time and, you know, grow from it or, or feel like that they've won the debate. They're the main people that then flip it to, well, just, just shut up and do this and shut up and move on because you're not going to change my mind or you're not going to change other people's mind. And it, it, it is quite literally a situation of, I don't give a fuck about what you have to say. So just block me and move on. Cause I'm not going to change type of thing. And that's another problem. Right. For as long as I have not just been a VTuber, but have been doing YouTube things, doing Twitch things, making videos and all this, that and the third, even even with my, you know, outside of streaming photography and short film stuff that I do. I still have to deal with this shit on a regular fucking basis. So. Again, as I've said so many times before, it is not just an online problem. This shit happens in person too. But the people that it does not happen to will never acknowledge that because they don't live our lives and they genuinely do not give a single solitary Never. fuck about other people's experiences. They don't because even even when you tell them about said experiences it's a fucking problem for them because it breaks the veil of oh this shit actually happens i don't have an argument anymore i can't be a dick to them anymore and then they find some other convoluted ass way to spin shit around so that they look like the winner in the debate or the winner in the conversation or the argument you know the professional word spinners are heinous goddamn people let me tell you i mean absolutely fucking heinous which is also a sign of them being like high key manipulators but that's the conversation for another day but people who spin words a lot are heinous dog fucking crazy with it But they do it all the fucking time because they rarely get caught out for it because it's really, really hard to have a conversation with a bullshitter and someone who is constantly going to change the meaning of your words when you know exactly what you said, what you meant, how you meant for it to come across. It's hard to have a conversation with someone that does that because they're not going to engage you in good faith anyway. Anyway. But 
to move on past that part that was going on it was people being like yo this is this is fucking racist this is crazy you can't be saying this shit dog and then you have people being like people being in agreement with them and then uh, apparently did a fucking stream talking about the shit whatever whatever and just further pushing those thinly veiled messages of like hate and harassment and etc and all this all this is stemming from people getting called out rightfully so for being like drawing poc and drawing black people and drawing black hair is so 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 hard and i can't do it and i people shouldn't be getting mad at me because i can't do something why where there are plenty of things online to show me how to fucking do it it it's 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 literally them doing doing exactly what that comment says what you said bro what john black people challenge impossible self-imposed like like i can't draw very well but if i was at a point in my art career where i was getting commissions to draw people and someone gave me and i and, and i'm keep continuing to mention this for emphasis sake if someone gave me exactly what they wanted with a step-by-step -step process and a reference and a color swath palette whatever and i purposefully don't do that or make excuses not to do that i am the one in the wrong not the person who paid me to do the shit and then being like hey yo what the fuck i as the artist am the one in the wrong that's how that shit works man it's wild to me i don't get it and then the people who again as i said earlier who just have this really weird hard on for using the term poc when they mean one specific race of people usually black folk they wrong as hell too because it's like if you if 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 you're not if you're going to be racist and say racist shit just say that you're racist don't don't try to spin the wheel don't try to pick up bones don't try to spin this other crazy fucking narrative that you're not using all these extra ass words about shit when at the end of the day it doesn't fucking mean anything because at the end of the day whether you want to believe it or not the shit that you are doing and the shit that you are saying is racist it is harmful it is poorly veiled harassment it is stereotypical saying people are sensitive this and sensitive that because you don't like when people get caught out for some fuck ass shit you are the problem and again this is not specific to just B-tubing, but this is specific to life in general because i have encountered people who use the term poc when they mean black people online i have encountered people who use the term poc when they mean black people in person i have encountered it at work i have encountered it at parties i have encountered it at skateboard events i've encountered it so many fucking times in my life physically in person online that it's done and it's over with and it's bullshit and i've had people try to make me out to be the villain because i like yo that's some fuck shit and you ain't gonna get away with that watch yourself motherfucker type shit and again even when i do it calmly you know i try to explain to them that hey you know maybe you shouldn't say this because this can be seen as inflammatory this can be seen as problematic this is um a very thinly veiled way of encouraging harassment against people and i really don't think you should do that even when i do it like that and then when i do it like this it's a fucking problem because they don't want to be held accountable for the fuck ass shit that they say they don't want to be calling out for the fuck ass shit they say because they're used to getting away with it they're used to the bullshit and when someone breaks the veil and prevents them 
from continuing to play part in their bullshit, it's a problem. Because it's like, oh, well, you're telling me that I can't do this thing that I've been doing for a long time. Therefore, I'm going to make it a problem. That's exactly what the fuck it is. That's exactly what the fuck it is. And even then, it's on TV. It's on interviews. It's on podcasts. It is in your fucking faces. But these people still continue to be like, oh, it's just an online thing. It doesn't happen in person. You're too sensitive. You're giving words too much power, etc., etc. And it's like, okay, if someone is being explicitly fucking racist to you in your fucking face, and you do nothing about that, or you tell someone to do nothing about that, you don't think that's a goddamn problem? Where is the logic? The answer is that there ain't none. Ain't no goddamn logic with this shit. I assume white people think they're being proper by saying uh, POC is still called people black. Remind me of, of the of the lat. Y- yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much that. Like, like some people think that they're being proper when they do it, but other people know exactly what the sl- flippy dippy switch Sam hell that they're doing. They know exactly what the fuck they're doing when they say that because you know on 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 platforms like Twitter. And, and YouTube and Twitch. Hilariously enough, you catch less heat when you just say POC instead of just outright saying black or Hispanic or Mexican or Asian or Japanese, Korean, you know, it, 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 Swedish, all that, all that shit, right? You get less hell when you use a blanket term. As compared to, to the term they want to use. Because they know for a fact. It will get them fucked up. In one way or another. They know that it will get them fucked up. If they say what they really want to say. So they'll be like. Oh I'm addressing everybody. When they quite literally mean. One specific fucking group. That's where that problem is at. They think that they're being slick. And they're not being slick. Not at all. Not at all. And again, like I said, they do that because they think they can get away with it. Because people aren't going to read between the lines and be like, hey, yo, I know what the fuck you're saying. You're wrong for that. Let me read that. Uh, Maybe I'm coming towards this with, with good faith, but I would think most people use a blanket term to try... And not offend, rather, than as a roundabout way to make group mad. I will say, though, that for many, it's just tokenistic in nature. And you're pretty much uh, spot on the nose. People who are not trying to be pieces of shit will use it in good faith. Because they don't want to, you know, make a fucking blunder. But... A majority of people who are on that weird shit would just do that to be roundabout with it. And that's the crazy part. Because, you know, if, if, when other groups do it, hell, even, even when other white people do it, they're just like, well, when they're talking about white people, they'll just be like, fucking white people, white people this, white people that, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Other groups will be like, white people this, white people that, blah, blah, blah. But like, and, and, and it's not so much a matter of like, they can get away with it, but it's just how the fucking cookie crumbles. And when you got white folk doing it, again, they'll use it, but they, they'll mean, or they'll be specifically going after like Asian people, Hispanic people, black people. And it's like, just say it with your chest, motherfucker. If if, if you're gonna do all this, that, and third, just go ahead and say it with your chest and get and, and get get the dragging process done and over with. Instead of trying to, you know, like I said earlier, spin the fucking wheel about it. And then the other thing, the other thing that 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 kind of irks me about this is that, well, no, not kind of, really irks me about it. 
is that more often than not, you will have women of color being the initial person to do the educational process to inform them that as hey what you're doing is like wrong allow me to assist you so that you can not be wrong any longer and you know they get dogged out they get they 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 have you know targeted actual targeted harassment yep. against them and shit and it's like Okay, so you you you're not you're not just racist, but you also some, some actual weird sexist shit too, right? And then like let's say like a man of color or you know specifically in my ethnicity's case, a black woman will go on and be like, "Yo, this is wrong. Let me inform you about why this is wrong in a calm, chill, relaxed manner." And the fucking aggressor will be like, blah, 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 this, try to dog them out, make them feel bad, etc, etc, etc. But yet, when a dude comes at them, oh, they're partially, I'm not going to say like, you know, a, a, a large margin, but they're partially more willing to hear out a guy, rather, well, a black guy rather than a woman, even though they'll very quickly try to do the whole oh black man angry black men mad black men are animals this and this and that and it's like what's your fucking problem and it it like like i said it's 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 like clockwork where one thing happens and then some other fuckery happens and then the cycle just keeps on repeating and repeating and repeating with no end in sight and that's shit that aggravates me because I'm not I'm not going to say and I'm going to make heavy emphasis on this. I'm not going to say that this is a primarily black black VTuber black content creator problem because racism happens everywhere at all times regardless of what race you belong to. But more often than not, it is always the people with melanin in their fucking skin getting the worst of it. And or getting like a really, 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 really bad, bad side of it. That's the part that frustrates me and a lot of other people because e even, even though... I am not um, Hispanic or Latino or Asian or any of the sort. When I see the shit and I catch wind of the shit, I have a problem with it. I call that shit out, right? I'm not, I'm not that kind of that kind of outspoken black guy where I only talk about black problems because I have friends of the aforementioned ethnicities and they go through the same shit. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You wrong as hell. You know, I call that shit out. Is it, is it my place all the time to call that shit out? No, but I know what it feels like to be forced into a position where you feel like you can't say anything about it. And that pisses me off. If there's a situation where someone needs to have their voice out there in one way or another, I'll fucking find a way to goddamn do it, right? So, again, it's not just a black person of color problem. It happens to everybody. And when you see the shit, you call the shit out. E even, even if that's not your own fucking team, <clears throat> you say something anyway, regardless of who or what the fuck it is. It's not hard. When I see this shit, I have a problem with it. Calling this shit out. Because racism is fucking racism. And when it's targeted at people of color, and this is since I'm actually using it as a blanket term and not just talking about black folk, when racism happens to people of color, one way 
or another, that shit can and will get called the whole fuck out. And ain't nobody gonna intimidate me or try to big dog me out some shit, right? This, this is, this is another reason why I am extremely uh, averse and would probably outright refuse joining a corporation because of shit like this. Because you know, as 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 as, as most people that consume VTuber content know, independent VTuber content and corporate level VTubing content are two such wildly different fucking fields that it's insane you know you i could write a dissertation about the differences in experience between With? being indie and being corporate and i'm not a corporate vtuber i'm talking about the subject matter of what they do and do not talk about right i could not be a corporate vtuber because of this because of what I've been talking about for however long I've been going on about this. Because either the higher ups in the company would be like, hey, stop fucking talking about that. Or, you know, the 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 automatic spike in viewership and all this in my fan base would be like, I don't want to hear about these things. Just be funny. Just do stupid things. Be entertaining. Make content and shit, right? I could not be in a corporation because I would not have the free reign to talk about the shit that I want to talk about, especially, especially when it's important to me, right? Because I've said it time and time and time again. I am not the ha ha always funny and always smiles fucking kind of guy, kind of entertainer and whatever. If there's some serious shit that I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about the serious shit. If there is a situation that I want to talk about, I'm going to fucking talk about it. If there's instances of racism either dealt to me or dealt to other people that I feel like I want to talk about, I'm going to fucking talk about it. If there's a political issue going on that I want to talk about, I'm going to fucking talk about it. Like, like, I would not be able to talk about the situations going on in, 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 in Palestine and, and, and Sudan and the Congo. I would not be able to talk about those things freely in a corporate VTuber position. And I hate when my speech and my speaking patterns have to be restricted for the sake of making someone else fucking happy. Or making a company fucking happy. Fuck you. I don't care. I do not care. Take that shit and shove it up your goddamn urethra. I don't give a fuck. Okay? And because of how outspoken I am about these issues. Which I've been doing for a very, very long time. I've been doing this shit since the days. The, the, the early onset days of me playing MMOs and whatever, you know, my early days of being online and, and, and interacting with other online communities. This, this is not just some out of nowhere thing that I'm doing as a content creator for, 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 for clout or brownie points or whatever the fuck I've been doing this shit since the goddamn jump. I've always been on this shit. I've done it in person. I've done it at events. I've done it on public speaking platforms. I am about this shit. And I refuse to join in anything that would prevent me in any way from being about my shit. I refuse. And I don't want I don't want the fucking the bullshit of oh well you can talk about xyz but like you know under the under the fine hidden print and shit it's like oh but if you do this you're gonna face punishment and blah 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 suck my dick i don't want to hear it i don't and i won't because i will ignore the fuck out of you
for trying to tell me what I can and cannot talk about on my fucking platform. Ever, ever since I started doing the whole VTuber thing, and I've told this a million fucking times, but I'm gonna keep telling it because this is my experience that I had to deal with, that I'm still having to deal with as the day is goes on, right? When I first started doing this shit, and I was e e even even before I had the 3d model that i have now with my right skin tone and not some pasty white fuck ass thing that does not represent me at all i was talking about shit then and somehow some kind of way people were being receptive to it people were showing up and fucking around and whatever you know the average was good the view count was good the follower count was good etc 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 i switched models and continue to talk about the same exact fucking things and all that shit just plummeted plummeted to the ends of the earth and it has not come back yet so i'm not trying to hear the bullshit i'm not trying to play into the bullshit i'm not here for the bullshit there's a problem, the problem gets talked about. Whether, whether a solution, a concrete solution comes of it or not, if there is a problem, the problem will be discussed. Just the same way how at a lot of uh, anime conventions and whatnot, how many of them prominently prominently have black guests and people of color guests how many you know the the fucking you have you have these panel you have these panels at these conventions where they feature like vtubers or other like smaller content creators how come they all skin color wise look the fucking same right because I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear the tired argument of, well, you put too much emphasis on skin color and people don't look at VTuber models for their skin color. That's a lie. You know, there there are people out there who, at the end of the fucking day, all they want to see is something color-wise on the screen or whatever the medium may be that represents them in one way or another, right? When I first started watching VTubers, I'm like, oh yeah, these people are funny and whatever, and I like their content, but where are the people that visually look like me? And I'm not saying because because I had I had a dumbass try this on me one time, talking about, oh well, you're not gonna find someone that looks like you, sounds like you, talks like you, has your hair like you, and blah 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 blah. That's a that's asking for the impossible. And I was like, bitch, that's not the point i am asking for the bare minimum skin tone wise to just have someone to watch that looks like me right and again this can be this can and will be applied to situations outside of vtubing you know they're 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 i've been watching youtube damn near since the website existed right right I have the people that I enjoy watching, but at the end of the day, and it is and it is very, very, very simple as this, right? At the end of the day, if you take people of color and you give them the option of doing, or not, not doing, but watching two content creators that do the exact same thing, but one person has a skin tone or some kind of physical or other characteristic that represents the viewer more nine times out of ten the viewer is going to take the person that looks like them sounds like them talks like them in one way or another right that that is just how that shit works and people who try to deny that 
are so, so pathetic. And they fight and they kick and they piss and they scream to not be perceived as pathetic. But that's exactly what the fuck they are when it comes to that kind of shit. And that's just how this shit is. There are so many people out there, out here in this world that want to how that want to deny all that shit, but they can't because as 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 often as people love to fucking cock ride Ben Shapiro with his fucking facts don't care about feelings, uh, quote, that's a part of facts too, right? If you tell, if someone tells you that I would prefer to watch a black content creator over a white content creator, an Asian content creator over a white content creator, a Hispanic, Latino, Latina content creator rather than a white content creator, and that is a proven definitive fact for them, you do not have any quarter to sit up here and be like, well, you choosing not to watch white content creators is racist, and that makes you and that makes you a bad person because what if they're more entertaining? And it's like, bitch, I don't care. This is what I want to watch. This is what I want to engage with. So, you trying to spin the wheel on me to make some bullshit, and that's all it is is bullshit. Ain't gonna work. Go try that with somebody else that ain't me that ain't someone else that go try that shit away from us because the people that do that they're just bad faith people F fuck 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 a bad faith argumentative person fuck a bad faith topic uh whatever whatever they're just a bad faith person And that's how that shit works. That is how that shit works. Whether people want to accept that or not. They have to figure it the fuck out before they fuck around and find out. Though, you know, in a lot of people's cases, especially on Twitter, they do a little bit too much of fucking around. And then when they find out, they want to be like, oh, they targeted me. They harassed me. They did this. They did that. Woe is me. And it's like, bitch. You literally brought this on yourself. You fucked around a little bit too much and you found out. And you have nobody to blame but yourself. Get a grip. You dug your grave. Now sleep in it. And it, and, and, and it's getting to a point. Very quickly, might I add. It's getting to a point where in online spaces. People are having zero fucking tolerance for it anymore Why? and it's not just it's not just the poc side of people that's that that that's not having time for it and is getting fucking tired of it because there's there there is a plethora of white people that's like yo you're fucking wrong you're crazy you know you're wrong shut the fuck up and stop and stop trying to silence people because you don't like being corrected stop trying to silence people just because you feel like you have the capacity to do so stop trying to silence people when you get caught out for some shit stop trying to silence people and twist their fucking words around just because you don't like what the fuck they're saying about you over some shit that you did you know, it's not it's not so much it's not so much activism because a lot of people will try to be like, oh, well, you're, you're an activist, you're an armchair activist, you're a slacktivist, whatever, whatever. It's not, it's not that. It's being a decent fucking human being. How is that so damn hard for some people when it comes to issues like race and things that people have to deal with as a result of racism how is that so damn hard it shouldn't be but people love to turn it into some shit that it does not have to be whether they get a kick out of it or whatever the fucking reason is that's what they do that's what they do 
and they think that shit is okay. When it's not. Because let let that shit happen to them in person, as much as they love to deny that it happens in person. Oh, baby. Ooh, they're going to be so, so fucking mad talking about they did this and they did that and I don't feel safe and blah, blah, blah. They're harassing me. They're being racist to me. And it's like, huh? Now you know how it fucking feels, huh? But fucking that that no 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 that that doesn't happen. 